Good morning from KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. It is about 4.45 a.m. and I'm just north of St. Lucia on the beach. It's wicked windy and I've found a fantastic composition here in the sand dunes leading in to the Mozambique Channel and the sun rising just above that layer of cloud on the background. Just perfect way to start this day and begin the first section of our road trip from the northeast of South Africa all the way down to Cape Town. It's going to be a fun couple weeks and we're sharing it all with you here on the channel. First section starts right now. Let's go. Our first stop in KwaZulu-Natal is the small town of St. Lucia on the northeast coast of the province. It is the only town in South Africa completely surrounded by a World Heritage Site. St. Lucia is famous for hippo and crocodile sightings, and the stunning wetland environment also plays host to an array of other animal species, as well as dozens of types of birds. Are you ready to go? We have about 150 kilometers to go today, so I think it's time to hit the road. Time to leave St. Lucia. Sadly, we are only here for one full day, and this town is pretty special. It's got a lot to offer up in the northeast corner of KwaZulu Natal, and uh, I think. You know, if we had more time and we weren't making sort of the travel sacrifices, which I touched on in the last video, sorry it's a bit windy, um, this place would be really cool to explore. This is where most of the hippos and the crocodiles of South Africa live. It's a breeding ground for both. But uh, the sunrise this morning was really nice and it was cool to see a little bit of St. Lucia. I agree, yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm just talking all the time. <laughs> now it's time to hit the road. Let's go. We've made it to our destination. This is Sense Yuma Backpackers in Tugela Beach. It is absolute paradise. This is where we're staying for the next two nights, which means it's a brand new office environment with Wi-Fi. Yes, I'm in heaven. <laughs> we have Wi-Fi. So it is time to get into the appropriate office attire and get back to work. Our second stop was in Tugela Mouth, about two hours south of St. Lucia. This village is situated where the river meets the sea and makes for an incredible landscape and location to explore.
We have been chilling most of the day at Sensi Yuma Backpackers and it has been so nice to have a few hours of catch up time. Nelly and I got out the laptops and were able to uh, get emails sent, get some photos uploaded for a couple clients that I've been wanting to do for a few weeks. Uh, Nelly got some of her promotional work for her clients in uh, Germany done, so super productive afternoon. And unfortunately, it's gotten a little bit overcast here. So uh, this happened yesterday too, and I'm hoping that the same thing this morning with that really nice sunrise in St. Lucia will happen here tomorrow. So fingers crossed we get a nice uh, sunrise tomorrow morning. But if, if you haven't known already, Nelly and I work as full-time travelers, location independent on the internet. That's how we make money. And uh, a big part of today getting caught up was also for me planning a bit more of 2019 and uh, trying to fit in client work and campaigns in Europe in between some of the adventure tours that I'll be doing with Brendan Van Son, as well as a couple of video conferences and potentially the first ever BVS video uh, adventure tour or workshop so something to look forward to for sure uh, but for now it's time for us to sign off from today this video is not over I want to share more with you of uh, Tugela Mouth where we are now in KwaZulu Natal South Africa and why this coast is so special and so cool so stay with us that's coming up right now which will be tomorrow and hopefully we'll have better weather Good morning, it is about 4.45 again and uh, we're down at the Tugela River mouth which is what this little village is named after in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa and uh, yeah, you just walk down here from Sensi Yuma Backpackers which is extremely convenient and you're right here on the river and then this is where the river comes into the ocean which is amazing really good for fishing apparently there's sharks that like to hang out here so probably not so good for surfing but uh a beautiful place for photography and uh take the dogs out for a run and yeah it's early no clouds in the sky so not sure if we're gonna get a, a nice image but might as well set up anyway and see if we get the drone up in the air and say good morning to day number two up and what an absolutely incredible coastline. This is KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. And we're back up at Sensi Yuma Backpackers. This place is so nice. Beautiful with the two pillow pools. Another winter. Morning. It's just past like 5.30 a.m. now. Sun is pretty high. 
So I've come back to get some coffee, get some editing done. As you know, we work as digital content creators, so the best thing about getting up to shoot sunrise in the morning is having that time at the computer to get caught up and do some editing, and before you know it, you have been so productive and it's only like 8.30 in the morning. So that time starts right now. And then this video continues, our road trip continues. We're going to Umzumbe, which is still in KwaZulu-Natal, but really far down in the southern part of the province and very excited to show you another beautiful backpackers and beautiful part of this coast. If you are traveling through South Africa and coming to KwaZulu-Natal, make sure you check out Sensi Yuma Backpackers in Tugela Mouth, as well as St. Lucia where we were uh, before. And yeah, the next one, Umzumbe. We are about to leave Sensi Yuma Backpackers, sadly already, but first we have a little surprise. The special surprise is the Lindiwe, a 1970 classic car Citroen from the band Roots Grown Deep, which is staying here at Sensi Yuma, and the guys said that we could take it out for a joyride, get some drone footage before we head off, and I think it's going to look amazing. Great, let's go. Our third destination is the small coastal town of Umzumbe, just south of Durban. It is an awesome surf spot and a rugged coastal environment at the far southern border of the KwaZulu-Natal province. So after that awesome classic car ride with the drone, we have now made it to Mentis and Moon, which is a backpacker spot in Umzumbe, the far southern part of KwaZulu-Natal. And it took only about two hours to drive from uh, from where we were in Tugela Mouth, uh, and we passed Durban actually. So Durban's sort of the main center of the whole area, but we went right past it so that we could get here instead. And this place is really cool. Do you want to go exploring? It, I think it looks like we're sleeping in a tree. Yeah, we're sleeping in a tree house. <laughs> Good morning from Umzumbe, South Africa. It is about 4.30 a.m. and uh, I'm up again for sunrise. Um, yesterday's sunset was a bit of a bust, sadly. It's the second day in a row that we've uh, arrived at our location and it just got really overcast in the afternoon. And uh, yeah, sunset just didn't even happen. So that's all good because this really is a sunrise location anyway. Um, basically the whole northeast coast of South Africa uh, is really good for sunrises. So I'm up again to get down there to try and get some really nice images and video content for this vlog, as well as for my own portfolio. As most of you know, I work as a travel photographer and videographer, so it's very good for me to take advantage of these opportunities going to beautiful locations right at the, the right time for the best light to uh, practice the craft, see what we can get, and of course, be able to create a nice video for you here on the channel. So. Uh, let's go down to the beach and see what we can get and hopefully fingers crossed get some nice light get the drone back in the air Lots of drone in this video. It's also a bit long. Sorry, but yeah, it's spread out over a few days in three different locations Yeah, let's see what Umzumbe looks like in KwaZulu-Natal
just like yesterday, the sun's up and it's time to fly. And we're off the beach, heading back up to the Backpackers Mantis and Moon. It's only about a four minute walk to get down to that awesome spot. This beach is obviously really good for fishing. It's also really, really good for surfing all along this coast. So that's why most people come down here. Me and Nelly, we come for photography and uh, adventures along the coast of KwaZulu Natal. And this last spot here in Umzumbe, right in the southern part of the province, did not disappoint. Amazing experience once again. Very, very cool drone flight, and I hope you uh, enjoyed that morning. Sorry for this vlog is a little long, I know, but uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it. It's been really fun to share with you this uh, first part of our road trip adventure. <clears throat> and we're back at the Mantis and Moon Backpackers here in Umzumbe. That was another amazing sunrise shoot. However, now it is time to go. Yeah, this is the end of the KwaZulu Natal video. I know it's been a little bit long, but that's simply because the stretch of South Africa is so beautiful and there's so much to see. Yeah, so we started in St. Lucia up in the top of the northeast and then down to the middle and to Gelemouth and then here in the southern part of Nunzumbe. That's only three spots on a really big coastline, including Durban, which we didn't hit. Um, so if you are coming here, be sure to uh, do your research because there's a lot more to see. Uh, however, for this video and for us, it was the perfect amount of time. So. Definitely. We're heading south, so stay tuned for that one. Next up is the Wild Coast. It's going to be great. So as always, thank you so much for watching. We hope you like this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.